Marines call down artillery, but they never expected what the first one would do. In the days of old, artillery corps consisted of cannon batteries that fired from a hilltop onto a battlefield below. With the advent of rifling, smokeless powder, electronic targeting and radio communications, artillery has evolved into a whole new beast. It is now an integrated part of frontline combat, with infantry being able to call in strikes whenever they're in range. As Funker 530 reports, in 2010 a Marine rifle squad was the target of a hasty Taliban ambush. An enemy machine gun team opened up and pinned the rifleman in an open field. With no cover and the Taliban bullets flying all around them, they knew they were quickly running out of options. Fire support was the only course of action. Artillery has to be guided in by someone near the actual firefight. With a maximum range of 25 miles, howitzer crews are not often able to see direct impacts. Because of this, they require efficient communications and guidance. More often than not rounds have to be walked into the target. Repeated firings are observed, with spotters in the battle calling and adjustments. The reason this particular strike was so impressive was the pinpoint accuracy given the circumstances. A Marine squad taking fire in an open field called in a strike accurate enough to require only one round. When a unit in the field is calling for an artillery strike, Multiple things happen to ensure effective fire while keeping American lives safe. After determining what sort of battery fire will be called in, the observer has to estimate target location and transmit it back in the form of a grid or polar point. The artillery team then calculates the target position in relation to its battery. Step 2 is where hell begins for the bad guys. Once the howitzers are dialed in, they begin to fire. Depending on the situation, they may have to continue firing until the observer calls for a stop. Once the firing stops, it's up to the observer to correct for errors if the rounds did not connect with their targets. He is able to get increasing precision with every barrage. If all rounds landed correctly, repeated firing is usually not needed. The final step is a ceasefire. This is called once all the bad guys are dead, or if U.S. troops were able to withdraw safely. There's a reason the artillery corps is referred to as the king of battle. The cannon used was an M777 howitzer, a massive cannon with a 16-foot barrel and a 5-round per minute fire rate. It requires a crew of 7 to operate and weighs just short of 5 tons. The round was a special M982 Excalibur shell. Each shell comes with a whopping $68,000 price tag. This cost is not for nothing, though. It is able to do the work of 50 dumb shells by how accurate its guidance system is. The American Marine is one of the most well-trained warfighters in the world. This is reflected in the Marine Corps missions and ability of individual Marines to survive situations like the brutal ambush above. But true strength lies in the ability to work together and communicate, even under fire. A lot of moving parts went together to pull off a strike this accurate. This is definitely a feat the Taliban were not expecting, and their mistake to fire on Marines is one they won't be able to make again. Like and share this story on Facebook and Twitter to let everyone know the quality of the American military. What do you think of this pinpoint strike? Scroll down to comment below.